Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add media into your library to make things easier for when you edit your videos in Camtasia 9. Alright guys, I'm here in Camtasia 9 and I'm going to be showing you a little hack that's going to make things easier for when you're editing. It's just going to save you more time and make you more organized. So I'm talking about importing media files into your library so that you always have them in there. So I'll show you what I mean right now. Right now, I've got the intro and the outro in my regular media bin. So I physically had to go here and import the media. There are certain things that I always have in my video. I always have the intro, the video intro, and the video outro. Now you may have some other things that you put in your videos, maybe like pictures, or like a logo, or some text, or whatever. So what you can do is import them into your library so that they're always there, so that you don't have to always import them into the media bin, and this can actually save you time and make you more organized. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So right now we're in the regular media bin and I have here the outro and the intro. And I usually, you know, place them on here. The intro goes there and then the outro goes at the end after the video. We'll pretend like there's other video content here. So to import media into your library, your library is basically saved media. So it's like a library. You can save some stuff in there and then come back to it when you need it. So I'm going to click on the library here, and these are all the pre-inserted uh, media that Camtasia 9 has given you. That's all their stuff, so that's already all in there. But you want to add your own. So you can see here I've added Esatino Intro, and that's already in Camtasia. So when I start up Camtasia, it's already in there. I don't need to go in to the media bin and click this and then import media and then go find it. You know, if you're really disorganized, you don't have stuff in the right places, it can be kind of annoying trying to find it. Um, but, you know, we are organized. I edit a lot of videos per week, so that's why we need to be like this. So, when you are in the library, all you have to do is click the plus button here and import media to library. So, click that. And here is where we have our like intros and outros and stuff. So I've already, this is our intro right here. I've already imported that. So that's, you saw that there is called Esatino intro. And now I want the outro. So I'm going to double click on this and it's going to paste it with the original file name, but I want to shorten that because it's a little bit long. So I'm just going to call it Esatino outro. Click enter. And there you go, I have my two intro and outro already in Camtasia 9. Like it's gonna be, when I open it, it's gonna already be in there. And I'll just show you, I'll double click. So that's our intro there, and I'll just delete these here. And I'll just show you. And I'll delete the media bin here. So. There's nothing in my media bin now, but I have my intro and outro in the library. So I could just be like, okay, here's my intro, place it. All right, outro, here we go. I don't need to go and find it on the computer. Uh, like I said, if you are disorganized with your media, it can take time to go and find these things. And when you have like a YouTube channel that you upload to all the time, it's very important to have streamlined editing strategies that are going to make things easier for you. And these are one of the uh, the things that we do is we import media into our library that we use all the time. So you could have some like pictures or logo or whatever that you use in your videos that you import in there and then it's just always there and you can just grab them from there while you're editing. It's just going to save you some time. Alright guys, well that is it for this video. If I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these types of videos, head down to the description below as I have a bunch more free Camtasia 9 tutorials for you guys. 
Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.